Hey there, what's going on guys? My name is Crazy Pie. Today we're gonna be talking about the top five best game modes in Titanfall 2. Some of these are good for ranking up, others are not. I'll mention them if they are good for ranking up and if they are not when I'm talking about them, but yeah guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like, also subscribe, we're really close to 400, and uh, yeah, let's get into this guys. So coming in at number 5 spot, we have Attrition, or uh, Attrition, so pretty much what Attrition is, it's pretty much a game mode where it's, it's pretty much you just get points for killing enemies, titans, and then there's also bots, so it's a player 6v6 AI, the time limit lasts for 10 minutes, and it has AI in it as well, which are the little scrubs and the uh, little bots, and that's, a, that's actually what they're called, they're called scrubs I think, but uh, pretty much you can imagine around 1.25, in between 1 and 5 points for killing a scrub or a grunt, I believe they are, and then you also get 5 points for killing a enemy pilot, in between 5 and 10 for killing an enemy pilot, and then I believe it's 5 points for killing a reaper, or a reaver, I don't know their name off my top of my head, but you get 5 points for killing them, and then you also get points for killing titans, and the game goes up to 400, I think. I honestly don't play this game mode that much, but I believe it does go up to 400, so that's a good sign, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's honestly, it's not my favorite, but it is actually pretty good in my opinion when I do play it. I do enjoy it because it, it basically, the game mode is basically telling you to try to go try hard so that you can basically get more points for it. Because if you do go try hard, you're going to get a lot more points for your team. And the more points you get, the, the easier it is that you're going to win and the faster it is that you're going to win. So basically, this map, this game mode is basically one of my favorites because it's basically telling you to go try hard and uh, try to get off as much kills as you possibly can on the enemy team, which I like. I like that. And uh, it has titans, but I do recommend if you use the Scorch Titan, you can actually, you can kill those grunts and AI bots a little bit faster than you could with a regular Titan. I mean, if you use a Scorch since he has that splash damage, yeah, that's why. But also if you're just using like a I, not an I, an Ion's good actually too. But if you're using like a North Star or something like that, I'm pretty sure it's going to miss a little bit. If, also if you use a Ronin, the Ronin's pretty good too. But uh, yeah, Attrition guys comes in at a number five spot. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at our number four spot, we have Bounty Hunt and I know most people will probably put this game mode up higher but for me it's in the number four spot and that does it's not a bad thing it's it's a great game mode but uh part of what bounty hunt is it's it's basically a five on five and I, ha I believe it has ai as well as ai titans there's it's a mix between rounds so one round you'll have ai pilot which you can get cash from and then the next round you'll have ai titans which what there's like one or two bounty titans that you have to destroy and you get a certain amount of money for that and basically what i mean by money is at the end of each round there's like a little bank that you have to go bank your money into and then basically you just bank that money into the bank and then that, that's a lot of, I just said bank like too many times but basically you just bank your money into the bank and then uh, the, the the first team to get the maximum amount of money like the uh, I don't know what the money is I think I think it's two thousand five hundred dollars I I don't know for sure I don't play this game all that much but it is one of my favorites when I do play I, I really only play Paz versus Palace to be honest with you but uh, let me check here yeah okay it doesn't say but I'm pretty sure it is two thousand five hundred correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure it is 2,500, and pretty much you just, it's a work with your team, you gotta, you know, take out those ba bounties and stuff, like, it'll say different waves, like, in the first wave, it it'll say, like, you get, like, X amount of money for killing a grunt, and then for killing a specter, I think they are? I think it's, like, $10 for killing a grunt, 10 for, 15 for a specter, and, uh, yeah, you just go ahead and bank that money, and then, you know, it'll count towards your victory, so, I like it a lot, I find that it, it works well with the team, you know, if you have a friend, and you're both in a titan, and you gotta take it down a bounty titan, you just, like, work together with you and your friend and it's, it's pretty fun so I definitely like it there's also it's pretty much think of it like drop zone not drop zone what was it fracture from black ops 3 kind of you got to go pick up those tags and then put them in the little hub I guess but uh, that's kind of a it's it's the closest example I can think of but bounty hunt guys coming in at our number four spot moving in guys to our number sorry I had to cough there moving into our number three spot guys we have amped hardpoint now amped hardpoint if you've ever played a game like call of duty or something like that there's domination which is pretty much you have three flags and then you, you've got to you know stand on the flag to capture it and then that's it you just get points you get one point per flag and same thing with this but 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 there's always a but if you stand on your little base your little hard point flag it's not even a flag i think this is like a robot once you stand on him for long enough it'll actually amp the hard point which is pretty much you still get points for your hard point being active but you get mul you get double the points so pretty much your 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 main objective here is to try to win the game obviously 
and to do that, you might want to amp your hard points, I guess. But honestly though, if you amp your hard points, you're pretty much going to win it faster. That's why it's more of a competitive game mode, because what I like to do is you want to try to stop the enemies from amping theirs, and you want to try and amp yours, I guess. It's, that's how you should play it, but uh, pretty much the exact same as Domination is, where you just capture a flag, you just get points, but you can out now uh, amp your hard points and uh, get more money and stuff, and yeah, pretty good game mode. Honestly, it's it's probably one of my favorites. It's Titan. There's no bots in this one, which is why I like it a lot, uh, but there is definitely Titans, which I, I like it, but uh, yeah. Coming in, guys, and hard point number three spot. Now, guys, this one's kind of unfair, I guess, to some. Some might think it's unfair, but honestly, to it's not really that bad, because coming in, the guys, in our number two spot, we have Bounty Hunt, and uh, not Bounty, what am I saying, Bounty Hunt? We have Coliseum, my bad, but uh, yeah, we got Bounty Coliseum, I almost said Bounty Hunt again. We have Coliseum, okay, and uh, it's, you need a ticket to get in here, but if you have that ticket, then you're golden. If you don't, I would highly recommend playing Pads versus Pads. That will rank you up a ton. But if you have Coliseum tickets, and you can spend them, then definitely go ahead and play Coliseum. This is the fastest game mode that'll rank you up, and uh, it's basically a 1v1 that goes up to 3, and it's on this little flat surface dome map, and uh, it's basically just, a, like I said, a 1v1 that goes up to 3, and uh, the first person to kill the other person 3 times, I guess, will win. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, don't be like this guy that I was facing here, okay? He, if you melee someone for the last kill, that is just an, that is so low, okay? That is the shadiest thing you can do. I said shady, by the way, okay? But that is, that is extremely shady, and just don't do it. That's not cool, bro. Like, I could have easily won this, but he meleeed me two rounds in a row, and you know, some might say, oh, crazy pie, why don't you just melee him back? Well, you know, that's, that's a jerk thing to do, okay? Don't melee people in this game mode, okay? It's, it's a 1v1, but uh, yeah. It's a great game mode to rank up, because uh, you go, it's, it's a super short game, usually, and the shorter the game modes are, the faster you will rank up, and uh, yeah, bounty, uh, not bounty hunt, uh, I, I keep saying bounty hunt, I swear guys, but uh, Coliseum comes in at a number two spot, and if you can't play Coliseum because you don't have the tickets, well, then definitely go for Pallets versus Pallets, it's also a really great game mode for ranking you up, and yeah, comes in guys, Pallets versus Pallets or Coliseum at number two. Ladies and gentlemen, moving in at our number uno one spot, we have got the one, the only, Mixtape. Now, if you don't know what Mixtape is, it's pretty much a mix between every single game mode, and uh, except for, you know, Coliseum and stuff like that, but it's a mix between uh, around six game modes, the most popular ones that are on the regular board, the dashboard and stuff, and, you know, it's, it's, I believe it's 8v8, to be honest, so that's how you can tell that I'm actually playing Mixtape instead of Pilots vs. Pilots in this gameplay, because if you, I believe some parts of this gameplay, I look my leader the leaderboard and uh, you can tell that there's eight players I believe but uh, correct me if I'm wrong there but uh, pretty much it's an 8v8 versus all the game modes and I like this game mode a lot okay because sometimes there's there's such good game modes in this game and I can't even decide so it's like if I can't decide well I'll just let the game decide for me so it'll make the decisions for me and it's just a lot more fun you know getting a random game mode with your friends and just playing it and it's pretty fun so definitely guys mixtape comes in at my number one spot because honestly it's a lot of fun and it's just random and you never know what you're gonna get so it's pretty much it's pretty enjoyable because you know if you're playing with your friends and you go from last titan standing one and then to the next game you're just going to like pads versus pallets and it's a lot of fun so it's definitely a variety you'll get a lot of variety out of this it might not be the fastest to rank up because you know some game modes you might get slow ranking up game modes but this game mode's fun to me and i like it because it's random and you'll never know but uh, guys that's my list you know if you guys go ahead guys leave down in the comment section below what your guys' top five list for titan fall 2 game modes are i like i'm curious to see what you guys have because uh, most of these game modes are pretty good and i enjoy it like pretty much all of these game modes, so I'm curious to see what you guys enjoy playing in Titanfall 2, and I'll definitely check them out and give them a try, but yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, peace guys.